I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Salutations everybody, it is Maddie here today and welcome to the Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 Mod Project June update. Today we are going to be taking a trip back to the past yet again and looking at a bulk of screenshots along with that gameplay teaser I showed you and seeing just how far this mod has progressed yet again. First thing I'd like to do is welcome the new team members. Joining us this month we have Alex4949, Rice Calculator, and Kung Fu Man. Alex has joined the team with one thing in mind, the Enclave. He will be working on Raven Rock and any other Enclave related locations, we'll be seeing plenty of that in this episode. Rice Calculator, I'm still unsure as to what a Rice Calculator is, will be working with Unoctium to provide animated quest icons for all the quests in Fallout 3. Finally, Kung Fu Man is assisting myself with general implementation and creation of new weapons. Work from these three guys will be shown below. So in this part, we're gonna take a look at a lot of shots from Raven Rock, and can we just acknowledge how quick these people work? I mean, this looks excellent, and they just joined the team. I cannot commend them enough for that level of effort and efficiency. You know, for all these areas, it's like they're taking what I dreamed of for Bethesda Game Studios to do, ripped it out of my head, and put it into a game itself. It's absolutely amazing. Next, we take a peek at the interior of Vault 101 again. It seems at this point in the creation, this is when the vault is at its normal functionality. There has not yet been any rides or anything as we can see the classroom where we took the goat exam in and it all just starts to flood back, doesn't it, when you see that home oh, man. In my personal opinion, I think Fallout 3 has one of the best and most memorable game openings ever, and I'd love to hear if you guys agree with that or what games you think did a game intro better. And it seems the team's even doing unmarked locations, as we can see Lucky's groceries here. There's nothing unique here, but it's awesome to see that they're taking that effort to go ahead and create areas that are also unmarked. I know most people would expect that, but still, it's one of those things where I was wondering if maybe they'll just cover all the main locations, but it's awesome to see that they also are doing unmarked which is one of the best things about it says the game studios game is when you stumble upon those and see the environmental storytelling up next is one of the creepiest locations in fallout 3 and dale the residents there refer to it as the greatest town in virginia but the families ended up becoming cannibals because of their food supplies running out for those who don't remember on top of that families have begun inbreeding and so you can see how this area is really screwed up so i'm excited to go back to this yet again after that is one of the first i'd say 10 areas you visit when you start up fallout 3 in a normal playthrough and that's the super duper mart this place is a beginner's gold mine as it holds basically every weapon that you need to get you through the beginning part of the game along with tons of ammo so long as you survive but as we can see in the second photo it does seem they have a little bit of work left to be done with this area now here's a level of effort that i found really impressive and this doesn't take away from any of the other locations we've showcased but it's just something that i don't think they had to do but they did anyway which is as mentioned in the beginning of the video animated quest icons and we can see right here two of them and these look awesome i'm genuinely curious how they made them and how long it took that's something i'd love to learn about because this is so cool to see it's an idea that personally never crossed my mind when looking at this mod thinking oh yeah they could also make animated quest icons just like in fallout 4. moving on to another unmarked location we have the barn in the wastes i don't know if memory is serving me correctly or not i think there's a collectible in this area or something along those lines there's something there i tried looking it up but i can't find out what this area is referred to as in the Fallout community, but I'm pretty sure there's something important here. It might be just a note, but I can't remember. We also get a look at a unique weapon they have built, the Black Hawk in Fallout 3. This is a weapon that you acquire when you ask Agatha for a reward after giving her the music during the quest Agatha's song. And we're gonna be showing lots of weapons, so let's take a look at my personal favorite beginner weapon, the hunting rifle. Everyone's got their hunting rifle in Fallout 3. Everyone drops it, you're constantly repairing it. And so I can't wait to personally snipe mutants with this one. Afterwards, we have yet another unique weapon. This is the Zurong V418 Chinese Pistol Incendiary. And that certainly is a mouthful, but once again, another excellent unique weapon recreation. And lastly is a mod recreated by Lieutenant Commander, but here we can see the sniper rifles have already been redone. So it's awesome at the community in general, not only you guys watching this video, but also other modders who have respectively created their own content are assisting 
the development of the Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 project. And so if Bethesda ever sees this, number one, hire these folks, because they're clearly fucking talented. But once again, I just want to thank the modders. This is insane progress. I mean, I love how this started off as a, hey, we kind of just did this for the fun of it, and it gained traction after that, and they decided, let's make it a full project. And the team continues to grow, so once again, I'll have a link in the description to all the information here. You can contact the developers, get involved with this project, help it come out even faster. Thank you guys so much for staying updated with this excellent looking mod. I personally cannot wait to see more, most likely in the July update. Let the modders know what you think in the comments down below. Other than that, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. Those links are also in the description down below, along with my Patreon. Do consider supporting that as it fuels all the content we create here. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.